So the next thing is I want to show us some key basic shortcut keys that you can use in Notion. For example, in addition to the forward slash command that you can use to have access to all of the features that we have in Notion, uh, all of the different features that you can bring in, you can have multiple other shortcut keys that you can easily apply and have access to different features. For example, for example, to create a bulleted list, you can just type the star and the space bar to create a bulleted list. You can see you can create multiple bullets. If you just type anything, you can just go ahead and type and get multiple bullets. Another way to create the same multiple as bulleted list is you can use the dash and then the space bar to create another list. Or you can use the, the plus sign plus the space bar to create the same bulleted list. So these are quick ways to kind of get you to have shortcuts to be able to have access to the different features within Notion. And you can have access to other multiple keyboard shortcuts by coming down here to the bottom right. You can click on this question mark sign and you can come to keyboard shortcuts. You can just click on over here and you'll be brought to this very place. You have multiple keyboard shortcuts that are very popular. These are the most popular ones. You can just go ahead and use it. And you can have markdown styles. You can see a different bunch of other keyboard shortcuts that you can easily apply on your Notion experience to enhance the edit and move blocks. You can do all these with, you can have commands, different kind of commands. You can see different kind of commands. You can have slash commands from the basic ones to the most sophisticated one. You can have very basic keyboard shortcuts that you can easily apply and have them work for you perfectly in Notion. So you can go ahead and apply any one of them. One of the key ones that I like is the column. You can just type the column at any given point to call on the emoji sign. You can just type and then list the emojis and name the emoji you want to call, for example, clapping. And you can see by just using the column sign and clapping, you call on this emoji. And you can see you've just added the clapping sign. So you can move on and and put another one. Another one that you can use is the, you can call on the emoji apple, for example, you use the column and then you can type apple and you can see apple just coming up. So you can just select it and you have your apple. So there are various different kind of signs and different kind of emojis that you can use or different kind of shortcuts that you can bring in to enhance your experience with Notion. I think that does it for this tutorial on how to use uh, shortcut keys. Feel free to go ahead and check out the multiple ones that we have and choose the one that you feel like you can easily use to enhance your productivity in the use of Notion. So that does it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.